Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back to another edition of Powerhouse. You've probably heard how valuable a programmable thermostat can be. Installing one of these is probably the simplest thing you can do to save energy and money. But how much can you save? Well, up to 10% on your heating and cooling costs. That's 1% for every degree you adjust your thermostat for eight hours. So if you adjust it twice a day when you go to work and you go to bed, you can increase your savings even more. Any homeowner with basic electrical skills should be able to install their own programmable thermostat. The costs will range from about $25 to $65, depending on the type of thermostat. If you don't think you can install it yourself, you can hire a heating and cooling contractor for a little over $100 to remove an existing thermostat and replace a new one. But before you make that call, let us just show you how simple it is to install it yourself. You only need a few basic tools to do the job. A screwdriver, a wire cutters, drill with a 3 16 inch diameter bit, a hammer, a pencil, a small level, and batteries. Now before you head over to the store to buy a new thermostat, turn off the power to the furnace and central air conditioner unit by shutting off the circuit breaker or removing the fuse at the service panel. Remove the cover from the old thermostat, but don't disconnect any wires. Now you'll want to take a minute to check the wires that are attached to the old unit. If it's connected to a group of thin wires coming directly out of the wall, then it has low voltage wires which don't present a shock hazard. But if the thermostat is wired into an electrical box, then it's probably running off of a 120 volt current and you don't want to try to replace it until you've talked with a licensed electrician. Let's get started. First, unscrew each wire from the old thermostat. There should be letters identifying each wire. Attach the labels included with your new thermostat to each wire that corresponds to the letter on the old thermostat. If your new thermostat doesn't have labels included, just use masking tape to make your own. Once the wires are marked, you can remove the base plate and then the wall plate. Here's the hardest part of the job, making sure the wires don't fall back into the wall. Here's a little trick. Try wrapping them around a pencil. Now before you go any further, install the batteries in the new programmable thermostat, or it won't work once you get it installed. Now you can thread the wires through the base of the new thermostat. Be sure that the base sits flush against the wall and none of the wires are trapped behind it. Use a small level on top of the unit and adjust it until it's level. Now using a sharp pencil, mark the mounting plate's screw holes. Remove the base and drill a 3 16 inch diameter hole at each screw location. Use a hammer to gently tap plastic anchors into the holes. Reposition the thermostat over the anchors. Insert the mounting screws a few turns. Use the level again to make sure that the base is still level and then tighten the screws. Now our wires are okay, but if you need to, you can take your wire strippers here, take about a quarter inch of the insulation off the end of the wires to make it work for you. Connect the wires to the screw terminals, matching the tape labels to the corresponding letters on the terminals. Be sure to check the wiring instructions in the installation manual to make sure everything is hooked up correctly. Put the cover on the unit, turn the electricity back on, and then follow the thermostat's operating manual to program the unit. It's really pretty simple, and the instructions are right inside the cover in case you need to change your settings. Finally, run a test in both the auto and the manual modes to confirm that the furnace and the air conditioner cycle on and off as directed by your thermostat settings. And one last thing, if you're replacing a thermostat that contains mercury in a sealed tube, don't just throw it in the garbage. Mercury needs to be disposed of properly. Contact your local waste management authority for information on how to properly dispose of an old mercury thermostat. I think it looks pretty good. And the whole job should only take you a couple of hours to finish, but it will provide you with years of savings on your energy bills. A programmable thermostat will cost around $25 to $65, depending on the type you select. It'll take about an hour to install and will save you up to 10% on your heating and cooling costs. Coming up, how to save money by replacing your regular light bulbs with fluorescent bulbs. And later, the device no home should go without, don't go away. Keep incandescent lamps away from thermostats. The heat they produce can cause your furnace to run less than needed in cold weather and your air conditioner to run more than needed in warm weather. 